Oh, you can't talk to him. Nah. Yep, yep, Hello. Hello. Hi, Rob. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, fans. <laughs> All zero of you. Wow, that was that was mean. That was mean. No, it's talking to my fans. I don't have fans. You have fans. Blair, you have plenty of fans. Do your fans feel like this? Like Harold. <laughs> Shout out to Harold. What's up, guys? So it is definitely very much in the afternoon already. I already finished all of my classes. Um, we had like a fire alarm this morning, but other than that, like I did class and then nothing else happened. So now my day is kind of starting. Um, first thing I need to do, I'm out and about. First thing I need to do, I need to go to Primark because whenever I was going through the airport from Rome to London, um, I forgot to take out the water from the, took my water bottle, so I'm at Primark to try and get a new one because Blair got one here so I'm hoping that I can find one too and then I'm also gonna get sunglasses for a reason I'll explain in a second. Well, changed my mind. Um, that place is way too crowded and it would take me too long to actually get what I needed so I'm probably just gonna get the glasses and the water bottle on Amazon because I don't really need them until next week. The glasses I need, I mean ASAP but getting them tomorrow is still, that's, that's fine. That's fine. And I'll explain it after groceries, which is where I'm headed now. Gotta go to Sainsbury. So, the reason I'm gonna get sunglasses is because I've been doing very badly at like looking at the camera and I want to be able to like point at things in the screen and when I'm wearing sunglasses it doesn't matter if I'm looking at the screen because no one will actually know that I am because of the sunglasses. So I'll explain probably a little bit better when I actually get them. Um, but for now I got my groceries. I'm headed back to the flat. I'm gonna unload, eat some dinner and then we have a show to see. And now, whoa, and now for dinner, I'm gonna try this, this chicken and gravy short crust pot pie thing. I normally get like a quick dinner whenever I go there, like normally it's soup, but I was like, I'm gonna try something different and I love meat pies, so. We'll see, we'll see how this ends up being. But first I need to figure out how to use the oven. I've, I've, up until this point I've never really needed to use it. And it's like, it's very weird. It's not like a normal, it's not an American oven, so. pie thing it was super super good glad I got it it was like a good quick dinner from Sainsbury um, and like in an hour we have to go to the National Theater to go see Red Barn and I need to take a shower and then change because it's at the National Theater and I feel I should dress a little bit more up than like I would at the Globe um, and so that's 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 what I'm gonna do now done okay um, now now I'm I'm, I'm ready um, we have like we have like 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, um, before we have to leave. And so I'm probably just gonna read and I'll get back to you guys when I leave. I read on my iPad. <laughs> I 
Okay, we are here. Everyone's gone to the restroom because there's no interval. And I have no idea what the show is about. I've just heard it's really good and they do crazy things with sets. So I'm super excited. I have my seat and it's very sad. I'm alone. There are people around me, but no, no one I know. So that's, that's my seat. All my friends are over there. But I'm, I'm right there. So I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys at the end of the show. Okay, so. I have returned from Red Barn at the National. Comprehensive review. Um, tech, amazing. The National Theater space is crazy. The Littleton Theater was which uh, theater it was. And like they had, this is not a spoiler, but they had like, the proscenium is like a movable proscenium. So like they could like literally shape it however they wanted. They would just, it would just like consume blackness and you would have like different squares. Like they could make it as small as like a face. Like, legit, like, the proscenium would just become the guy's face. Um, and, like, they, so they could, like, pinpoint to different places on the stage. Um, and so it's, like, a psychological thriller, and so that kind of helped, like, show certain parts as opposed to, like, whole parts of the stage. It was, it was very, very well done, and, like, uh, it was the same guy who directed 1984, so, like, they had, like, flashes and stuff. Um, and I love that. It was, like, it was, like, really good for me, like, the tech. Um... The show itself, I personally liked. It's apparently quite polarizing, so some people didn't like it. Everyone, everyone liked the tech. That, like that was not a debate. Every single person I have talked to has really liked the tech. The overall show itself, though, has developed polarizing opinions. This is definitely not like my favorite show I've ever seen, or else you would have seen me walk in the door like, "Oh my god, that was the best thing I've ever seen!" But I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It took me a little while to get into it. it took me like I'd say 15, 20 minutes to really like really get engaged, but once I got engaged, I was like really engaged. Um, like the writing, from what I understand, it was like the writing that was really like, like the dividing factor. Um, Cause like there is one scene in particular, I'm curious as to know what like other people think about this, if, if you've seen it and like wanna comment. Um, there was one scene that I really, really liked. It was really simple. It was just like a guy, it was the guy and the girl in the apartment or the, I don't know, the dudes, the the big, I just don't want to spoil anything, so it was the main dude, and then, and then the actress girl, um, and he was just, like, sitting there and telling a story for, like, 10 or 15 minutes, like, literally there was nothing, there was no, no choreography, no, no blocking, nothing, it was, he was just, like, sitting there giving this, this, like, talk, um, and no one moved, and I thought it was mesmerizing, I thought that part in particular was, like, very, very well done. Um, and like nothing was happening on stage. She was just telling a story, which for me tells a lot about the writing. It told me the writing was very engaging and I got very like into it. And there was a moment where I went through like this existential crisis and I like, I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna die one day. And like, I had like one of those moments really fast and then I got back. But like shows that do that are like, in my mind at least are very, very like, they're good. That That's like a good thing. Whenever I like, I really started thinking and I was like, I was like playing the game with the show where, um, cause psychological thriller, I like, I was like trying, I just wanted to know like everyone's deal and I wanted to know what was going to happen next. And so I was like just playing that game and like I allowed myself to play that game and it, it, I don't know, I liked it for that reason. Um, I guess you could, you could argue it was a little predictable. I like did predict parts of it happening. Um, whether or not that like means the show itself is predictable is... A debate in and of itself, but overall, I'd say it was a pretty good show. Um, and those are my opinions. Um, I ate like four digestives just now, and like uh, like chips, cause cause they're my favorite snacks ever. They have like t chili Thai chips here um, with the with the Not Lay's brand. It's called Walkers. It's the exact same symbol though. Um, the Thai chili chips, super good, and then like dark chocolate digestives to like get it down like sweet and salty is the best thing ever but yeah um i'm done for the day it's like 10 40 i think something like that so for now adios